women are forced across borders and held against their will. They all have the same notion that sex trafficking looks like the movie Taken. But a new picture is emerging. One of women born and raised American. Losing my mother was kind of like where things took a turn for the worst. We're heading for a safe house that cares for child victims of sex trafficking. These kids that are being identified at age 12 and 13 and 14 desperately need help. We're victims in a multi-state sex trafficking operation that involves a child in our area. Nine on your side's Greg Bradbury tells us who could be involved and what parents need to know about sex trafficking predators. for sex trafficking. So why is the problem so rampant here in our area? Yeah, joining us now is Sue Vigiana. She's a manager for the hotline services at the Houston Area Women's Center. So that's a big question. Why are you, Why is it so, so uh, common, I guess, here? Well, it's definitely an underreported crime, just like sexual abuse and everything that involves that. So sex trafficking is definitely a huge problem in our city. And underreported, I think, most importantly, because there might not be enough awareness. So it's so important to educate our community on how to identify and how to help. So it is a big problem. What then is being done to combat the sex trafficking? Well, there are definitely a lot of awareness efforts going on in our community. We locally here in Houston have a coalition that works together with other organizations to talk about the issue, how to identify it, where to get survivors connected, should they need this type of assistance, and just educating ourselves and educating the rest of the community to make sure that we know how to identify it and do something. Each daughter in the darkest of journeys disappearing into the internet sex trade. Nightline Investigation is the controversial classified site Backpage.com, accused of making sex trafficking possible. One family's fight for justice. Here again is our special edition, Daughters for Sale, ABC's Gloria Riviera. When I grow up, I'd like to be a doctor. <laughs> I want to be a nurse. Well, I Short years after this video was taken, the 15-year-old Will Paul Natalie would be sold for sex through the website Backpage.com. How many encounters do you think you had during that time? Over 150. Over 150. Yeah. Would that have been possible without Backpage? No. This saga led Natalie to join a major lawsuit against Backpage with other girls like her. Okay, ready? Hang on, is there splinters? Today, Natalie is 21 years old and a mother of herself. failed code for prostitution. The majority of children who are sold for sex in the United States today was trafficked using Backpage. And now, Backpage is also under investigation by the U.S. Senate. 